Hi, this is Tristan from the Microsoft Student Partner Program at University of Central Florida. Today I'm going to go over some Office 2008 for Mac keyboard shortcuts. This video is actually going to focus mainly on Word, but keep in mind a lot of these can be used across the entire suite. Actually, the entire suite has over a thousand of them. But uh, definitely look out for some key ones and I hope it really helps out. So what I'm going to first start with is actually start with Word. Now the first set of keyboard shortcuts I'm going to work with are actually keyboard shortcuts that can be used on Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. Now, one of the things you want to do is if you wanted to make a new document, for example, you'd hold down the command key and hit N. Now, when you hold down the command key, you can see it open up a new document here. I'm actually on document 12. And if I actually want to open a document, I can actually hold down the command key and hit O. Now, what that does will bring up a, uh, a dialog window that I can go ahead and select which document I want to open, and I'm set there. Now, keep in mind, you can also see a lot of the keyboard shortcuts if you actually click on underneath these different menus here. As you can see here, I hit Command N and Command O to open up documents. As well as if I want to close, I can use Command W. And if I want to save, I can use Command S. So those are two key things you want to do to make sure you know you can save it properly as you want. Primarily used on Word itself. So let's do a little bit of uh, Word, uh, not Word formatting, actually text formatting. So let's go in and type in, let's type in my name, Tristan. So there's my name, Tristan. Actually, I'll type my last name too. All right, now what I can do here is if I want to actually select all, I can actually hit Command A to select everything in that, that actually is on my document. Now, if I wanted to be able to say, for example, bold it, I can hold down Command key and hit B, and I'll bold it. And if I want to also italicize it, I can hold down Command and I, and then I'll italicize it. Now, what if I want to underline it? Now, that's pretty simple, easy. Underline starts with a U. So if I want to underline it, I can hold down Command key and hit U. Now, one in the case, let's go ahead and let me get rid of uh, the bold and the italicized here, here first. Now, what if I wanted to actually, you know, for example, underline not the entire um, sentence, just the words themselves? Well, what I can do here is I can actually hold down Command, Shift, W, and then I'll actually underline each one too. Let me go ahead and uh, make sure it doesn't show this anymore. I'll ignore that. There we go. Now you can see right there that I've got Tristan and Jabot completely underlined by themselves. Now what if I want to double underline? Well, let me go ahead and select both of these here. Now let's go ahead and hit down. Now hold down Command, Shift, D, and that'll do a double underline. So those are two ways to definitely be able to get stuff double, double underline. Now, I'm a computer engineer from UCF, so I tend to work with a lot with numbers. And I know I can use equation editors and stuff like that to be able to import it, but sometimes when I'm writing a document, I just want to put it right there and then. So when superscript, superscript and subscript comes in very handy for me. So like for example, let me do, uh, I'll do five. Let's see, normally I use variable x. So I'll use variable, oops, let me go ahead and get rid of the double underlined. There we go. So let me do x, and then I want to do sub, superscript. What I can do is I can hold down command shift plus and what that'll do is it'll create a let me do superscript so once I do that I can actually now type in a number here for example and you see it's been superscript now I can also do subscript as well by just holding down command equals and then I'll be able to put in a subscript right there so you can see how superscripts and subscripts can easily make things very very simple now that's just kind of a brief um, overview of just what word can do by itself Thanks for watching. Also make sure to check out the keyboard shortcuts for Word and Excel. A lot of these keyboard shortcuts that we showed here can be used on all the suites, so definitely try them out.